interwebs hello devcon here for uh what is apparently going to be a new rpg stuff opening here at casa de devcon and i swear i will never refer to my apartment like that ever again from now on uh yeah um got an email over the weekend that um uh one company uh, specifically studio two was hey we're sending you stuff over from a previous crowdfunding and um, usually Studio 2 is a pinnacle, and I expected, therefore, to get Deadline stuff. But apparently, it's my other, well, quote-unquote, signature game right now that I got stuff from. And it is, uh, apparently, uh, <laughs> move from there. It is Torg. We've, we've got the Cyber Reliquary. Uh, in other words, the box for the Cyber Papacy uh, Cosm, the, uh, the alien reality that has conquered uh, a lot of continental Europe and is now making head some headway over in South America in the Torg Eternity reboot of the setting. Uh, fun fact, the um, first, set first version of the setting from the 1990s, uh, Cyber Papacy started in Europe and when they moved to the Americas, they actually conquered my hometown. So in the previous version of the setting uh i'm currently living under the thumb of the cyber pope uh but for the moment uh in this one they conquered brazil and i actually role played that event uh in my group uh they were certain that uh oh we're going to be able to stop them we're going to be able to stop them um, but no the um south america got south america got conquered by the cyber ppc uh in my game right under my plate my pc's noses uh, so as usual, uh, from uh, from release spiel, very big box, very heavy box, and very gorgeous box. Also, I really love the circuitry uh, everywhere, as as well as the uh, quote unquote. I don't want to say Christian imagery because it's it's a corrupted cyber church, um, but uh, it, it it definitely has religious uh, undertones, and it also goes on the side of the box and also on the back with uh, with circuitry there. This is this looks awesome. Uh, as usual with the Torg stuff from Ulysses Spiel, I already have all the PDFs, um, but this is um, like my first time actually seeing the physical stuff from the box. So as usual, let's go and open this up. We actually have some packing material. Just like in the aisle box, apparently they decided to have um, inserts in there, um, which is going to make, um, uh, you know... Uh, uh, putting things in order quite easily on the top of there. We have first of all the cyberware deck um, the um, the cyber church is very um, Adamant in equipping all the faithful with cyberware uh, in order to make them closer to God and You know totally not keep tabs on them and control them and stuff like that uh, These are equipment cards these uh, the, as far as I'm concerned these are fun to have uh, but this is all stuff that is inside the book and um, normally if I, in, if I'm if I play a game anywhere any, any kind of game that has like say cyberware or magic items or whatever I don't know I'm not gonna have a card with me I'm just gonna write it on my sheet and write next to it what it does like say for instance the mem chip grants two hads or two bonus skill points in one of the following does not stack computers fine first aid land it, it's like it's like cyberware, a uh, um, uh, skill chip uh, from uh, from uh, from Shadowrun, for instance. Um, as usual for cards uh, from Ulysses, very well, um, like, oh yeah, um, exactly what I expected. Um, like, uh, stir sturdy, well done, well printed, awesome stuff. It's uh, uh, the heretic chip. Grants two ads and one of the following does not stack. Alteration, apportation, conjuration, like, like you know, gives give yourself uh, some bonus to your magic. Uh, and all of it. it's just one, um, uh, say, uh, one example, one, um, no, not example, um, just, just one uh, card of each uh, cyberware. So if you have two people with the same cyberware, they have to share. But 
But yeah, anyway, it, for, for, for me, this is not the, the main draw for the box. What is the main draw is basically the rest. First of all, soundtrack. I already have this in MP3 format, but the unhallowed data soundtrack, the um, soundtrack that goes with the um, adventure module that comes with, uh, with the, the Kickstarter stuff. Well, I, I say Kickstarter. I shouldn't say Kickstarter because they've moved away from Kickstarter. They're using game on tabletop from now on. Um, and uh, of course, all the soundtracks. Um, Orc Pack, the guy behind the music for Cover Eternity, awesome guy. Um, can't understand half what he's saying because he practically all, all only posts in German, and my skill in German is uh, uh, nicht, nicht gut. Uh, anyways, Cyber PPC Booster Deck. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, this is the stuff that I love. Uh, we have, as usual, the Drama Deck version of the um, this drama deck version, the cyber paper version of the drama deck, which is always fun to um, substitute some of the drama drama cards uh, when uh, dealing initiative because you have specific rules that will happen in the cyber papacy. Like devil inside, backlash from failing to casting a spell occurs even with standard success this round. So you know it sucks to be a spellcaster if this card gets drawn for initiative. Um, we also have the, the it's the same basic forty cards for um, for a drama deck. We have bonus cards for the destiny deck, which I will add as soon as I can to my uh, destiny deck. So it says that be supporter and um, action supporter action are cards that already exist. It just give an additional um, uh, an additional card for this, as, as well as willpower and adrenaline. Actually, none of the cards, except for Step B, I believe, are new. Uh, and the new Cosm cards, which the uh, which give the the player care the, the players some agency over what is going narratively in the game. Like say, for instance, wanted play after committing crime um, against the Cyber Church, including battle against church forces. The church police sends a strike team to attack. Sometimes this act, so a player could play this. And look, guys, I know I'm going to screw us over, but I'm going to play. I'm going to play wanted. However, all storm knights involved gain one to three possibilities after the strike team is resp is repulsed, depending on the strength of the strike team. So you know, I'm adding an obstacle to our to our game, but we're going to get a bonus after that. So I I like these cards, and um, my players always 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 use the use those um, more often than not to. Uh, to throw some uh, monkey wrenches in my works, <laughs> but this is what they're here for. Uh, the Cyber Papacy possibility tokens, just like with the, the Living Land, just like they did with uh, the Nile Empire, just like they did with Isle, I now have the themed tokens for the Cyber Papacy, which as always just you know, just from the feel of it, I know it's exactly the same as usual. Um, where does it open? Okay, this one opens from the side, apparently. So, yeah, the um, high-quality poker... Actually, these ones sort of shimmer. Uh, trying to... Depending on how the light catches them. Really love... Again, as usual... And yeah, they they also they have this sort of a, this shimmering uh, finish. Really love it. Um, uh, as always, with uh, this times with uh, images that are befitting with the Cyber PPC, like you know, Combat Nun. Um, this is probably a Techno Witch. Um, probably a French member of La Resistance. Wait, I'm I'm francophone. Why am I saying it? I should be saying La Resistance, anyways, uh, and so on and so forth. Which brings us to what is under the inserts. First of all, unhallowed data, the adventure module that I uh, referred to earlier. Um, every Torg box so far comes with one of these. A um, is a chilling mystery in the depths of the of Godnet. Uh, is a massive adventure suitable for several months of gaming. Delphi Council has a chance to slip a team into the cyber PPC under the guise of a special investigators for the Inquisition, which you know, no one, no one ever expects a Spanish Inquisition. Uh, but what happens when the cyber pope requests that team to look into rumors of demons and betrayal? 
Someone inside the church has a sinister plan. Follow the clues through dark monasteries, mean urban sprawls, dark, uh, and uh, even into the god net, which is basically the matrix uh, for the uh, cyber papacy, to discover a secret more dangerous than the church itself. Uh, I haven't really ran any of these uh, special modules, uh, although I just got, uh, I just read the Tharkold, the, the, which is going to be the next um, crowdfund box that we're going to get from uh, Ulysses, uh, and I'm probably going to want to run that one. Um, but uh, these are typically very well made. Even I've read them, I haven't run ran them, but anyways, the GM pack. Uh, which uh, we have it here, a cyber gargoyle, a technomancer. Um, so as you, these, these usually are just slicing through the cellophane. So we have the, uh, uh, the, um, um, uh, the standees that they call, uh, because basically what these, uh, these have like stats that you can, uh, put, um, um, on one side, you have the stats that you don't mind your, your, play, your players know, and on the other, special rules that are for GM only to know. These are typically very handy to have. I don't really use them because my notes in my games are usually quite extensive, but that's just me. It really depends on the, on the person. If I continue opening stuff, we're going to have... Uh, this is something that they gave in the IL box. They gave some more of them. The Torque Eternity setting primer and also the rules primer. Um, so that means I'm going to have enough for all my players. That is a good thing. Um, the tokens for either the battle map or uh, the uh, or for ke keeping track of initiative. Uh, these are nice to have, and these are kind of, and these are of course only themed for the cyber papacy. These are typically double sided, so you you won't have the same thing on both sides. Pretty good. Uh, I believe this is just a yep. That's a poster. Um, it's gonna be the um, this is the um, just to be certain. Uh, yeah, it's the unhallowed uh, data. Uh, cover as a poster the new unupdated map of the cyber papacy so we have of course them taking over oops them taking over france and spain and also now south america to the detriment um, <laughs> of uh, many storm nights the bookmark, which features on one side Cyberpope Jean Malraux, and on the other side the bonus chart as usual. And uh, uh, this is just the back of the GM pack. The Cyber Papacy uh, setting book per se. Um, so all the new rules, all the new cyberware, uh, secrets for the game master, new edges, new. Um, yeah, well, I should be calling him perks, actually. Cyber PPC is a realm of oppressive technology ruled by the High Lord Jean Malraux, the first and only cyber pope. According to the church, flesh is sinful, metal is clean. Cyber PPC arrived in Avignon as saviors, crusading against demons and invaders from the other realms. It has spread across France and Spain and even as far as Brazil. Within the borders of Cyber PPC, the people prey on their needs. Uh, on their knees, afraid of witches and demons who may lurk anywhere. If they pray hard enough and follow the rules of the benevolent church, may upgrade their frail and imperfect flesh to sleek mechanical cyberware. Cyber papacy doesn't conquer with force. It waits to be welcomed by the people who needs who needs upgrades or wish to live a beautiful life plugged into the all-encompassing godnet. Inside you'll find perks, spells, miracles, cyberware... New threats from foster encounter, detailed breakdown of the church's methods and resources, and they are a sneaky bunch. Details of the different re regions of the cyber papacy, including, including Brazil and the Godnet. Plot hooks, events from the first year of the Possibility Wars. Um, so this is really the crux of the book. This is what you want. Uh, Heroes of the Possibility Wars. This is something that I've also read the PDF. It's basically a bunch of NPCs. Um, and among them, and this was something that I was really, really, really looking forward to. We have some dirt on Quinn Sebastian at long last. Or should I say the Torah version of Quinn Sebastian? Because he's not exactly a new guy. 
in more ways than one. But anyways, um, this is a uh, this is a resource just for the yeah, for GM. Heroes of Possible Evil, War Prince, Wonder, uh, Wonders, Wonders, variety of characters, archetypes, program, attorney, adventures, and campaigns. Blah blah blah. Um, so, um, but yeah, uh, you have stats for multiple characters. Uh, Queen Sebastian, Queen Pella Ardene, and so on. Um, this is a, a, a must. It's not themed for Cyber PC. This is the Thor, the Tor for Torg as a whole. So even if someone plays Torg and has no interest in Cyber PC whatsoever, I highly recommend this book. Um, the Del uh, the uh, uh, GM screen. Uh, as usual. It's going to be trifold with uh, rules pertaining to the cyber papacy, both outside and inside. This one I haven't really seen because uh, uh, the PDFs for screens, is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, are not kind of clunky. But anyways, uh, I find it I find it awkward. So I'm just going to be careful because there's stuff inside. I'm just going to set this is just set this here, and uh, here we have. Uh, a um, battle scene set within Cyber APC. Apparently, a group of Storm Knights is going to fight a host, and uh, these things terrify my players <laughs> to no end. Uh, so we have uh, apparently a guy shooting his, you know, shotgun at a host. That's not going to do much. We have the church police here fighting off some Storm Knights, and um, also apparently some uh, from the zombies and demons. Nice. The Cosm. Uh, Axiom, so 14 magic, high magic, higher social, however, the place is very, very, very oppressive, highly spiritual, uh, second only to the um, living land, and technology 26, the highest uh, cosm as far as technology goes, currently, uh, depending on whether or not uh, a certain other cosm ever makes it in. And of course, the, the rules of the um, uh, world uh, world laws of the cyber papacy. One true way religions other than cyber church have are contradictions. So you know, be careful when you use miracles there. Heretical magic mishaps on magic cause an extra bonus die of shock. So you know, be careful when using magic. And law of suspicion cast the first stone. You know, be careful around anyone while it's in the cyber uh, in cyber papacy territory. Um. We have the Piety Achievements. Actually, I'm not going to show that. Uh, piety Demerits, same here. Uh, hacking Difficulty, <laughs> because these are are actually very, very uh, funny uh, ways that the GM can screw over the players. And um, don't really want that to show too much. Wandering the Wilderness, you know, random encounters, core value charge, uh, rapid fire. Uh, the, the basic rules that every screen has and on this side we have a quick map of the uh, god net go uh, the nodding test sector surveillance so this is more about the cyber pay uh, the um uh, god uh, th th this part of the screen relates more to the god net than anything we also have inside the screen the pre-generated characters which typically always have specific rules made exactly for them uh, unique rules like the cyber ganger. Uh, here we have uh, cyber merc, uh, cyber nun. There's a very good theme by here about cyberware, isn't it? The disability activist, uh, because having disabilities um, is um, is sinful in the cyber papacy. How can you still need glasses when you could? We, we can replace your eyes and be so you can be closer to God. Um, the drone jockey, which uh, was um, that character from, from the, on the top of the uh, GM pack, and so on and so forth. And Legionnaire, because of course, Foreign Legion. I'm going to be looking at these later on. Uh, Relics of Power Redux. Now this is something that I've been waiting for a long time. Back in original Tor, there was this trilogy of modules called the Relics of Power. And this is like, I'm going to call it a rite of passage. Every Torg group that I've been aware of has played the Relics of Power. And when, they, uh, when Torg Eternity got released, 
a lot of people on the tour, the forums were uh, like adapting relics of power to the new rules. Their uh, thing is there is there are some differences in uh, as far as the setting goes, which changes also how the adventure goes. And the guys at Ulysses Spiel said, "Well, you know what? Eventually, we're gonna we're gonna remake Relics of Power, and starting with, if I recall, starting with uh, the um, uh, the crowdfund for Nile Empire, they started. Uh, they had stretch goals for you know what stretch goal we're gonna have Act One of Relics of Power, Act Two of Relics of Power, and so on and so forth. And uh, in uh, when they finished Isle." Uh, the Relics of Power in its entirety was rewritten for Torg Eternity. And one of the stretch goals, and that was released as PDFs, one of the stretch goals for the Cyber Papacy was, well, we're going to make a physical copy of this. Uh, this is a module that it, 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 it's a big game changer. Uh, like challenge yourself and your players with the new take on the quintessential original Relics of Power adventure trilogy, Destiny Map, Possibility Chalice, and the Forever City, brought back by popular demand. And oh well, was Jesus Christ it was. Storm Knights crisscross the globe to face down agents of many high lords, <coughs> all of them, uh, in their cosm, including Nile Empire, Cyber Papacy, Pan Pacifica. Their goal, the secrets of the Akashans, once known as the Space Gods, whom I have actually mentioned earlier in this very unboxing. To accomplish this, the heroes must not only defeat some familiar enemies armed with new powers and treacheries, but also fight against many never-before-seen foes, including previews of future creatures and abilities coming in Pan-Pacific, Tharkold, and Orosh releases. This sprawling seven-act adventure spans continents and realms, ushering the transition from year one to year two. Seven-act adventure is set in realities of all the cosms invading Earth. Choice that, that will have a major impact, I said it's a game changer, on the future of possibility wars. New villains and threats to fight in the Trinity Shards to acquire. So, uh, this, is some, uh, this is definitely on my must-run list for my for my game group however i'm not quite there yet first of all i need them to do a couple of things before i send them there and second uh well we need to have the fucking pandemic over with so we can start meeting in person again and i'm gonna guess last yep lastly because after that we have an empty box every crowdfund for the for Tor has had one of these delphi missions Cyber Papacy. So a bunch of one, uh, one-off adventures that most of them can be done in one evening set within the Cyber Papacy. Delphi Mission Cyber Papacy is a set of adventures to enhance any ongoing target eternity campaign. Each of the ten adventures inside is suitable for an evening of play, which is basically what I just said. Each adventure may be dropped into an existing story or played on its own. Facing Malro and his unlo- unholy Cyber Papacy is dangerous, and facing these perils add adventure and, to- and opportunity to Storm Knight's lives. Uh, adventure suitable for alpha and beta clearance. Storm Knights written uh, written by returning Torg icons such as Daryl Hayers, which is who's basically running the shots for Torg. Bill Slavisak, OG Torg writer. Brian Reeds and John, John Terra, also OG guys. Industry names like Steve Kenson, John Wick, favorite of mine, John Wick. Uh, and I'm not talking about the movie here. Rachel Savicki, Rhiannon Louvre, and Tracy Sizemore, and Henry Lopez give us their own spin on cyber theor- theocratic adventures to the cyber papacy. Ten adventures all set within different parts. Great for a one act fill in or to extend an act that ends too early. New foes to battle and new challenges to face. So, yep, that's it for the, for the cyber papacy box. The uh, next box that I will be getting from. Uh, from the tour guys will be I uh, just mentioned it uh, a few moments ago the Tharkold Vault uh, so we started getting the uh, PDFs um, then that's uh, that's going to be uh, some, some time from now as far as the crowdfundings go for the different cosms of Torg Eternity there are only two left Pan Pacifica which should be next and as always they keep Orosh for the very end, because you know the big bad lives there. They did so for the first 
uh, edition of Torg back in the 90s, and they're doing so again. They're, they're releasing them exactly in the same order that they released the source books, except for Tharkal, which was uh, released after Orosh, but they didn't plan on Tharkal being there. It's, anyways, it's a long story. Uh, as usual, very, very, very happy with what we're uh, what I've got from Ulysses. I cannot wait to start unleashing these things on my player characters once we start seeing each other in person again. Because this is not something that I want to run over uh, Zoom or Roll20. I want to have my players in front of me so I may, you know, relish in their dismay, personally. I'm not that bad of a person once you get to know me anyway uh so yeah that's uh, the torque eternity uh, cyber ppc uh, cyber reliquary opening in a nutshell have a good one